when we touch down, but I broke down. Gamtel G Fiber, now you can enjoy super fast internet in gigabytes. G Fiber is affordable, stable, secured, and accessible to homes, businesses, and enterprises. With Gamtel G Fiber, the future is speed. Gamtel, creating a brighter future in communication. him that the last time he sent the money it was not enough to buy all the provisions oh sorry i forgot to tell him are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions yes, yes. but don't you know about baluo baluo what is baluo baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop and you don't have to worry about the exchange rate. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. of owning your dream homes. EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms or our story buildings, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans at our Sanyang Sea View Estate where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, schools, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, solar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 32592200. Or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. Communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities, all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gamsel's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gamsel, Yaibarom.
Agada. Agada. Forest Hello and welcome to the brunch on Kerfato. I'm Lamin Cham welcoming you to another edition of the program today being March the 7th, 2020. Now, this week of course we will begin with our usual look at the news that was in the news uh, in the past week or so and then we will discuss uh, other issues according to our program today we will be discussing the Nyamina West by election we will also be discussing the concern about the maternal mortality rates at the um, at our main hospital and other issues with me in the studio of course is Nima Kamara from the University of the Gambia and just by Nima is Keba Nyancho Sare he is the public relations officer at the Edward Francis Teaching Hospital Honorable Omar Sise is the National Assembly member for Nyamina East and we will be talking of course uh, about the coming by election in the neighboring constituency Nyamina West. So gentlemen and uh, lady welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you. Kebanyancho you will have to do some introduction but we will come to that later. Nima we start off with the news, the main news of course. Which one did uh, come to your mind over the last week or so? Well, we talked about this before now. No, um, nobody had us. Then. Nobody had us, yeah. Uh, I guess we'll be talking about the TRRC appearance yes. of the Badipunga guy who... Was he a Badipunga? He's a Badipunga guy. Okay. Yeah, I thought, yeah, he was willing to lay his life for some money. Yes. Uh, but it was still uh, an unfortunate story. No. But also about the fact that some people, I don't know who they are, who felt the need to award a peace award yes to someone who is not peaceful at all <laughs> uh, president jame okay so this another issue so we're going to start with press review yes let's go straight to that uh, piece of uh, information that people found quite bizarre and i know mm. uh, some group who, i mean they also go by the tag gambians because everybody's a gambian no matter what yeah. background or no matter how weird they are thinking uh, mm. they said they believe that President Jame, ex-President Jame, deserve an award they call was an award for peace. And listen to this justification. They said the former president had agreed to leave the country during the time of the impasse to ensure that the Gambians continue to live in peace instead of uh, digging to his heels and uh, confronting the international community or whoever, whatever force was available. So that this and other things, and another justification they said uh, was that when he went into exile, uh, unlike some people who are in the diaspora, who every day, according to them, are allegedly fanning the flames and brewing controversy all over in this country, 
uh, President Jammeh had advised his people to rather keep quiet. So that and other issues we're going to discuss. But of course, we are now um, going to deal with uh, you know uh, an issue that I thought would have come at the last end of the program, and that is the plight of uh, a certain Gambian migrants in Germany who we understand are in detention about to be deported so we're gonna go straight to Germany to hear from the horse's mouth and uh, they are on the line hello can we hear from you hello yes can you hear us um, well and clear yeah 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 now uh, tell us about this story we understand about four or five of you um, are in detention, about to be deported to the Gambia. Um, can you tell us what yeah, exactly, uh, who are you and what exactly happened? Okay, well, I'm in, in Germany, Bayern. I am in German, Bayern. Okay, maybe we can, t if you are more comfortable in, uh, so, in speaking in vernacular, which language are you more comfortable with? Uh, okay. Well, so wal ba tara nyami ngaba ko yalla you know so wala na dol so nga per fala sai intending man tan tol fala so after nalling nalle media kunto so alta mal bi je san tol fali okay ani konto ngol ani boda gambia damendo bismillah on the cassette sai sai mu nek fon keta atol atol be mu al be mu situation le kono sai sai dal be situation o min kono na bro da ja ngam beta yali no dal ba very bad condition ol kono ja because yentel mu raja ni mo fenke ya on the start On the 6th April. On the 6th April. For next month. April. April, yeah. So, say, at all, Alman Kaitoli Soto Bang, Muni at Bula Maroko, you Muni Fali. Iko, Iko, Gambia Masakunda for Kimilo Lemuru. And the Senegal Tijan, Gambia Tijan, the Senegal Tijan, Malitian, Saralion Tijan, Motijan, Namaka Gambia, and Isula Level Samabango. So, so what I do some manager, we are in some other school because Masakunda Koro Divala, so Masakunda Koya and Fongamuru Sukha. So until people understand. So I knew the college in Kafu Masale of Eko Masamo. But you look up a Koro Di Masakunda. So last time the boy Nindo from Bijan, Atata, a police or not, I know because I take the Molas of the Jam. So Gal Nata Jibe Jam four days ago. So police or Kaiko, you know, Alla President of Nita, you know, Kodito Layalon, Puralam, Yalon. I look president on the corridor, Nimo with the other president also, Yan Balmur and Lalino. Because last time Gambia was on the flight accept. But this time Negro di Gambia, but Gambia flight name accept that. Killing, killing. And the main problem with the jump on all my Yanaka, you know, because the Kabul seeker than a million passport table, Gambia passport table, ID card table, so you can think of Lesser Passage to that guy. So either you find Morocco, you know, either you take from Gambia, either stay Morocco, you know. So Yalo Mombeda. The man like okay, Yamano, the man for. Member caring 
to abdu bankol to abdu bankol e mune fo le gambe dingol wala men yalan ko na lal men ya lonko e man kaito soto je wala e mam meccho mam meccho soto mem beito la bankol la fanko tam taman la no wala be la fala no wol nyanta seela le ni gambe masakunda yewo dakoro le ko wol nyanta seela na nunto gambe masakunda ko yebatu yebatu folo jani be moli sendila bare ko man to mam me masakunda na rafa ko ko sai fenko nyim botale sai wo yewo morotere yomi ko sai botale sai iba ko masale sai kam okay sai nangana wo foy jamanol ko mim fo e mol bimbi jam meccho tebul na bro de te alon tol be mo gambe no gambe ga din mera fo ngala sanji tan ni lu ana la meccho lo ida mo am wayar la lo di mo fenko lo mat so bari ngil buka son karambo ngol di la mo le jabbi ko yaro no karambo ngol impora ne karambo ngol di la jay karam ke sanji sa baya on stand c'est que doko di la leno bot sain tem bol fanka karanjan sanji sa boy karam bang e ka foy la kambe passeport sa mana so new passeport sa mana sa ke sa mana deportation camp de 3 months di la wot after ni mor na gambia so war wol ka nyimmi fo comme la ke metto table fem ko na bor ndel be bor gambia han yimmi na jana ka nyamo sa bal ko mo bo bari no ana la metto le fo ma ngato nyaa so sain ndel be ni na metto la jam sa ngil buka son doko di la mo la so ke si an mo jama ba bi ngata na ita non kay to lo ni la id card ten yeso babal Hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. So kai to wese sama no blau blau to jang na manga nga lel jam maya. Mhm. Bor nyul ka min fon nak wolo mi kom ko non sen sol fon ye jang ale mon sakunda ko do so anu ni man tay modul sama den de flight tay mon son kada gambia. So ye lipa moto kon ye dun moto kon ye lipa ji foy do la rasta kun be do la barma ino di fon old. Di potation o dama dama e ke lipa wol. So sa to la fita kai album ci bar la futan la gambia ma sakunda mol batul makko la no nyaari ba album mara no men ko no albe jaman mol jaman la banko le kan jaman ma sakunda mol le kan nyinka le tan sa to le amere sai mo makko er si fala si soto ad la ko do a tol sa tol sa la fika min fono ma sakunda e mhm because ndol fana kabin ba silo taata na bro re no na ko la tambul an dum tol gambia man taata gambia man tar taata ma sakunda e mo mo ka tay fono le fo wo man ka tonya ha me ben say man sa ka men fo wala mi atol be wandi bankol le kan wol ni le fan sul lu wal le mu ni la fan sun la nya le mu say itol fanan sembo do ata je bakele pour ka je ko ka foy ya tol tu je o may o sembo man tray tol bulu itol ka wala fo jang di ka wala fo jang ko al be wandi bankol ka wol ni i wandi lu wal le mu ni fan sul lu wal le mu ni ko la lu wal man la men ni man la men na banko kan itol men fanam be jang i sembo do ata o koto sa to le wodi nyaari ah o ko sai ni bi je masu ni ni masu ko ni na masu ko ndani za diamono hande mol bula e momo two days le dila o 24 hours yela bango bula parol fi chaare yimbo ni suko no nyaamo ko non tin adun dol be je fanam kaitol men ni ke nyinin ka o be wol bulle dol dol ni la kaitol lem fang men se men se sabati ndi no je ni la kai no i tel buka kai to do la jang bot ni la kai to mbota itali ko je sama itali ha ya wa be to be sanjen banko le kai yes so sai so do fara pele do wi abo okay we angle ka mo le do mande hello do you speak english a little bit ngo mo be la angle fo jenn bari yaw na memu ni mo la fere ko men ko e fon express men ba la mo le fon yaw na stand mo jama sa understand no ha mo jama dol fo na mamma ni ka ka mo wala na angle ka pour mo dol sa kala men mamma ni ka ka mo bari ngata dron okay so ndol me do jenn fon yaw na stand ndi ka bo nan italy le fon man december 6 le fon yam muta jam hmm So before 8 weeks when you come back I understand the last moon 27 in our moon when they come on after you see again some airport the Gambia your police have left on the poor near Tanyola Mhm So say ni ni ta la fama I understand the nyale la bank nyale gay la bank ko wala fama ko maade to nyaako do mum likely fama be sembolo moroko le fama man ye 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 bulaji to le seena so say ka tara je la fama man yaalo ni nyanta ka flight ba do say me yaalo ko ci dano Gambia sa yeta nitu def la ko sodé waro wati 
Banco bebe la moy kan do fo be damen to ni député wol fo ngol be siri jam banco karo be la tuba du fo jay bebe la moy kan say say jani ka kumo kum fa atol la fita munel yitandi la gambe ma sakuna la pour atol la ko mo ba ko jube la nyame de la fita mo gambe ma sakuna na ke wa wala mo nyinti ko comme ko wa do ni senegal le bo dare ni mali le bo dare re senegal je le dem mali je le dem andu ni wol be kadi sifa ki wo mo be bu do la ko fi dem ne ke jamali ko fi ne mo na sab gaba ne ka lo ndol no way ka ko ndol sen do su ko na ku ya de ku ya ku ya la be jak e ke la mo wol ki na gam be fo ga bonan gam be immigration no le ke tra jamene alon ko ni da da fa man ani ni man diamo fa man ya on de san ne fa man e ka la fi ka pri di comme ngoy mo gam be nolti so ni la kay do bala fo ga man ne ka on fo fo ngoy ko su wa ka on fo ga ngoy comme ngoy mo gam be nolti de ta no immigration no yalla mo chin
So they want to come to the less than 10 to 15 minutes. I understand. So but after cool, they will not come. So then you want to come, you will have to identify. You know, the don't count. So government, some info, you know, I understand. The young, if I follow go, go get general information on them from the will of the government, the protection on them from the man allow. So you want to chat flat, they don't allow. But so say, I am old, they come old. So say, I am not from allowed. But if they come and go, they don't come from either prison bank. Mole they don't come. Government, I am not from. Mole be the mole government send. Government, I am not send. Mole government send. Same way, same government bull. Mole. So, I understand. So, I have to move for more Okay. Albert Bankujimala, Berlin, Frankfurt, Albert Mundore, Stuttgart. Albert Sate Jumala, Berlin, Frankfurt, Stuttgart, Levo. No, Bayern, Bayern. Oh, Bayern. Okay, okay. Alba <laughs> Mbel tendo la mbali ya ila, mbesiri ndame gambia bele bali juu beka, dipitewa ulifungo beja na dipitewa ulifungo beja na mbesiri njane, adu masakunda ala mwole bele kanyi mprogramu ala mwole, so ala kumaka mfuta tema la sae, nzi mfono wole mdrong, niyo kuyata la ala kuole benyame, nga anu masakunda ala ala mwole kane, tumaru ninga kiba aroso to mengu kweta ala kuole, mba safela ala ngana alipula akala male. Okay, mana tu modal yang dia nak buat? Mana lebih dia buat orang 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 Anggap wah hujung cecik Allah nak. Ban situasi ni ni kepo. Wah, guna, yeah, guna wah si Allah, because situasi ni guna negatif ni, dah faham kan? Nanti semua blog dah yang macam. So man nak man man film macam ni si boleh beri bayar ni. No, bayar juga itu, bayar juga change macam ni. Ma ame semua risi, ma ame semua edika, ma ame semua fizikal kuri, ama fikir. So lola ame pun juga ni, so man juga beri ni, atau lagi dia ma, atau lagi umur kau. Ina mana wah, orang ada tu boleh ni, ama fit. So ada ampuh jero itu. So one day, two days, dah yang si manuari, dah nama aku buat dem kambing. Mana lah, no, luar pun main des. Asal dah awat makan, dah nama ni boleh ni, ampuh ni pun juga boleh kambing, you know. Bagai yang bangga ni, ha. So ama fit. So mana mana, mana mana, yo seng kos nampi ni. Dapla ala aku yang ngada dem kambing. Mana kalau kalau rumah ala ni, mampu ada new jero, kau tahu des ni, ama fit. Kau nak kalau mahu nak alami, kalau ada, dia mahu cara. Mangai mesti mahu cara kaidi. Eh, ini ada di kamar mangai mesti mahu kiri, mangai mesti mahu risi. So lu tu lah. Di mana ni wah, yo sokos membira, jalan ni punya dem kambia, you know. So jalan jauh hari siang sokos membira hari siang, you know. So raya ampuh dia luar kambia, you know. Mangai lu tu mana am, lu ni kulua, ya mafir. Mangai bayar saya mesti of so dua euro, four tiga text of finger printing. Numpun tu saya udah go full dalam warna dero. Mana kau nama ni Italia ni mana? Ambray put dero mana Italia? So mana full dalam warna dero? You know mana no? You know masa tu saya dua was lagi je na. Yo yo saya sentiasa bilang kau bina lagi yo kambing mana warna dero? Mana ga on the six next mau on the six from Ford? You know mana from Ford? Bajun Airport you know? Yeah. So. So ni ni yang kita ni kita main di same position di same medium medium bola amai no. Okay, okay. Lagi nak purutan kalau aku berak, yang nyata apa neka? Dengan barik. Ni 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 fikir ada yang puri nak, ya mafir. Ni yang si suf, ni yang si kau, ni yang si ada dek tejanga. Jadi buat ni pun tu tuan dor bena plus, you know. So ni ni lebo lesa, sunjule air lesa. Within fifteen minutes, ni dia wahai wahai yang si suf, you know, ni tece buta. Mana normal prison ni ada fikir bro. Yeah. Di mana lah? Ilfom lah news solal ini, no. Ilfom bunga haman dengan yang paling nuru, you know. Ya, video yang sol books mana kasih lupa saya ngah sol, you know. Kuli ingkis, ya vi SKB, walau ya vi delivery, you know, you know. 
Jo have they over made him over made on you, you know. So you know how I'm going to go to the number one, two. Government beta, you know, accepting the full flag of water Gambia. So you know, accept the lady, not you want your book because those who are not accepting the accepting the next minute, you see, prison. So you want to go to Oh, then we got not going to be able to get a new life here after you know you get on it or something like that. So, you want to have a Okay, okay. Lady, you are catching Gurgi, you are not going to be able to get a new talk. You are not going to be a parliamentarian. You are not going to be a parliamentarian. So, lady, you are not going to be a parliamentarian. You are not going to be a parliamentarian. Well, I don't know how much money is going to be on the six. Then I'll be able to go. I'll be able to go later. I'll be able to go on the six. I'll be able to go to Gambia. I'll be able to go to Frankfurt. I'll be able to go to Gambia. 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 I'll be able to go But I'm not going to be in the next month, up to, uh, up to on the 9th. So anytime, I'm going to be in the next month, you know. Because I'm going to be in the next month, I'm going to expect you. I'm going to be in the next month. I'm going to be in the next month. So I'm going to be in the next month. I'm going to be in the next month. I'm going to live in the next month. I'm going to be in the next month. I'm going to be in the next month. ก็ยิ่งยิ่งฟีฟูดเอ่อฮังก์ฟูดสต็อปเบนอันเบนอันลิฟินยูโน่ยิ่งสุนัขก็กลับไปคนเมย์วิญญาณยังไงเล่นน
Senegalese are here. Yeah. Why are they not here? Yeah. It's a question and it's a valid question. Um, so there are there have been this conversation has started not just today. It's been a few years ago. Where I remember some of our students were down on the streets demanding that the government explain to the people what exactly happened and what is their role in this. And they have remained silent on it until they, when they were forced to say something, they came out and they say things that contradicted some documents that came out afterwards mm -hmm. to paint the narrative about the agreement they may, may have had with uh, European Union or the German government. So essentially what is happening here, there is an agreement. Mm -hmm. There is an agreement between the Gambia government and the German government. What this agreement entails is what we need to know. Uh, and it's because of but this... this German government uh, uh, in particular, or this European Union I, in yes, general? I think it's European Union in general, but currently it's Germany that is enforcing, enforcing the this. agreement now. Okay. Um, so what I wanted to say is that whatever the agreement is, it's now making Gambian migrants becoming targets okay. for deportation. Because the deportation, let me tell you, they are not cheap. Mm -hmm. Deportations are highly expensive. Mm -hmm. Even the German government may not necessarily want to go through with all of it. Mm -hmm. And you can say this is German laws, and if they are being violated, they, they have to take things into their, their own hands. But it cannot happen without the Gambia government giving consent. Mm -hmm. Because mass deportations, like I said, they are not cheap and they don't. The, the German government is also um, bound by certain international principles. Mm -hmm. And seeking asylum is legal, it's a human right. Mm -hmm. If people are seeking asylum, they have to be able to uh, go through all the processes mm -hmm. to exhaust mm -hmm. all the rights that are at their disposal before they can be subjected to deportation. Okay. If that doesn't happen okay. and they feel that they are being targeted, especially with valid documents, then that's a question we must ask the government. Now, let me just update you this. Um, only recently, um, the European Union uh, diplomatic post in Banjul were asked mm -hmm. about this moratorium. Yeah. Um, they said, yes, there, there are indications that the moratorium is being lifted, mm -hmm. but they still find some unwillingness on the side of the government yeah. uh, to totally agree to these uh, deportations. Mm -hmm. And they even said that lack of cooperation in this matter can threaten order and further European Union aids to the Gambia. Mm -hmm. Now, the government have always said that this is one matter. Well, although they, didn't, they, they, they hardly complained to say that they are helpless in this situation, mm -hmm. but then they've always given indication that this is a, a, a sensitive area where they have no powers to stop. Uh, this, I mean, foreign people returning their people to the Gambia. Um, they said they have no, fo they, they really don't have any means to stop it. Only they agreed for it to happen in small numbers and in peri at periodical, uh, you know, periodically, not en masse. Mm -hmm. But how do you, how do you see, how sincere you, th you see in the government's claim on this matter? Yeah. Are they totally helpless? This is something they cannot do anything about. Yeah, I mean, if you sit on any platform where migration is being discussed, especially Gambia and the EU's relationship, a lot of people, even civil society that are working in favor of Gambian migrants in Germany, mm -hmm. are accusing the Gambia government of failing to really articulate mm -hmm. its interests in this whole negotiation. Mm -hmm. So the moratorium was put in place so that the Gambia government would have time to put in place certain mechanism. I'm yes. not very familiar with what the instructions were. Mm -hmm. but. The discontent is coming from the side of the European Union, mm -hmm. where they feel that the Gambia government is not necessarily articulating their interests. Mm -hmm. They are not coming to table, mm -hmm. to the table, the mm -hmm. negotiation table with anything that they want mm -hmm. out of this. And I have had this being re echoed by other members of, I mean, I had this discussion with, for example, I don't want to mention names uh, yeah. here, but this person is responsible for youth matters in the Gambia, mm -hmm. where he believes that if the Gambia government is willing to really articulate what they want mm -hmm. from the European Union, they mm -hmm. could be the winners out of this. Wow. Uh, because the European Union now feels that here is a government that we can manipulate by giving them aid because they need it. Uh, it's a very crucial point in time. And this is what we require from this, what we want. They are going to go ahead with it. So the Gambia government has presented itself as a willing, mm -hmm. uh, accomplished in mm -hmm. all of this. Okay. And if it is taken that way, therefore, mm -hmm. then they feel that this is something that they can do. Ah, is that because, is, is, that, is that the reason why they targeted us, uh, you know, as, for, as in soft targets? They, 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 the, the gentleman we're talking to said Malians and Senegalese and others are not subject to this kind of uh, treatment. Uh, uh, do you think uh, 
there is something that the government, government, government could have done to avoid this situation, or this is just helpless, as they said. And what is your perspective of this whole saga, which really not, cannot, cannot go away since, since uh, four years, five years now? My understanding is that, um, <coughs> for I lived in Europe for quite some time, is that the political landscape in Europe is changing. Mm -hmm. And these changes are in favor of the extremist uh, right-wing parties mm -hmm. that are making migration and uh, migration matters as mm -hmm. core centers of their political discussion. They are putting fear into their people. In order to get political gain, they want their people to believe that their problems actually are the migrants that are coming into the country, taking jobs and other things. Uh, to ease that pressure on their uh, respective governments, I think it becomes uh, not a policy, but it becomes uh, some governments see it necessary to not allow young sub-Saharan African migrants to pay coming in to their countries. About the Gambia government's agreement with the Germans, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's purely political. What interest is there for the government of the Republic of the Gambia and what interest is there for the German government is certainly between two governments. But I think what can be done is that uh, the Gambia government has representatives in the EU. I'm not sure if we have an embassy in Germany or... In Belgium, perhaps. In Belgium. Yeah. But again, I have always said that they could go and meet these people. The purpose of having embassies abroad is to be addressing the concern of your citizens and obviously work towards creating something beneficial for your own country that send you there. I think what we need to understand is that um, <coughs> Legally, Europeans are seeing these people as the way they came into our country mm. is illegal. I see. Okay, they see them as the, the entrance to EU countries oh, usually I is I illegal. I see. And this is what they call the, the Dublin, if I remember well, agreement. Mm. And that is the first point of contact. When you leave third world countries or you leave Africa, mm -hmm. the first European country, EU country that you landed in, there you should seek for asylum. asylum yeah. And in that country, you should live in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, as the boys were saying, they have, um, some were saying they have 10 years mm -hmm. uh, uh, ID card. Mm -hmm. This ID card could be 10 years, mm -hmm. it could be five years, but it does not make you a citizen of the EU. Mm -hmm. So therefore, they shouldn't confuse the rules and regulations. Just living in Europe, mm -hmm does it make you automatically a member of the European Union? Mm -hmm. So this free movement, the Schengen movement, mm -hmm. actually is for the European citizens. Mm -hmm. Visitors can enjoy three months of visiting all the EU countries with the Schengen visa. Mm -hmm. But this is a question of not visiting, but a question of res residence. residence. You residence. want to live there, mm -hmm. and so long as you're not a citizen. Mm -hmm. The Germans can arrest you, really, by leaving Sweden and coming into Germany with a residence permit, mm -hmm. not a passport of the Swedish citizen. Mm -hmm. You can be arrested as a non-EU member. You are a resident in EU, mm -hmm. but you're not a European Union citizen. So these laws are different. You can live 20 years in EU country, mm -hmm. but when you come to the point of entry, so long as you do not have that country's citizenship, mm -hmm. even at the airport, you would be asked to take the foreigner side of the entry point. Those mm -hmm. with EU passports would be granted pass through the EU line. Mm -hmm. so these people might have residence in, a, in an EU country called Italy, mm -hmm. but I can tell you they don't have citizenship rights. Mm -hmm. So these two things they have to understand are totally different. Now, what the Gambia government can do to influence Germans not to bring these people back to the Gambia is zero. 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 I don't agree. When the Germans decided mm -hmm. 
that they cannot have these people in their country. There is nothing really the Gambia government can do. What they can do, they have exhausted that. And that is, if there is any money allocated for these so-called migrants to be deported into this country, they also misunderstood that this money is to be handed over to them cash. And I think that is not the way. I but think I go to some money would be allocated yeah. for training them into incorporating them into the society so that they can be able to take care of if themselves. If I come to Honorable C. Yeah. you seem to disagree with what yeah. he said, the I, government I, is helpless. I disagree with him because just this nomenclature, illegal, irregular, it's all an association to people who are not necessarily of European descent. Mm. A lot of people can enter a country through illegal or irregular means, but their reasons for entry would always differ. Say, for example, you are a refugee. Mm. It could be an, an economic rec uh, refugee, or you are uh, a victim of some sort of disaster, natural disaster or war. You are forced to leave your country, mm -hmm. and you might be entering into a country irregularly or illegally, but your reason is as valid as anybody People else. People from Afghanistan, Afghanistan the same way, and, Syria, yeah. So uh, illegality or, or irregularity, or irregularity per se does not necessarily give powers or give moral mm -hmm. uh, justification for putting people in mass and deport, deporting them to countries. That's where, first of all, we agreed on. Mm. And the secondly, the second point that we agreed on, I've watched, I think, at least two show, uh, two interviews with German civil society members, mm -hmm. uh, where they have said so many times, inviting the Gambia government to really come up with uh, strategies mm -hmm. to put forward to the European Union. Because negotiation takes two people. Mm -hmm. If the German government believes that they can deport without Gambia's uh, consent, consent mm -hmm. they could have done that. They wouldn't need to have to go to a negotiation table. But when their flights cannot come to Bandu, you cannot get to exactly the reason the why the reason why they are seeking the Gambia government's consent is because they understand that it would be difficult to do it unilaterally. Right, right. So here is something that the Gambia government has as a bargain power. Another thing that they are calling the Gambia government is to seek for legal path, the expansion of legal path. People apply for visas they are not given. They apply for residence permits they are not given. And all of these are all of the reasons why they go through irregular means and they don't want to come back or they hide. Uh, they, don't, they cannot necessarily add value to the German society. And not adding value is another reason why they are being asked to come back. So here is the Gambia government who has been called several times, even by the Germans themselves, mm. to really articulate their interests, mm. to say to the, uh, the European Union, for example, the reason why people are leaving is so and so and so and so. If you're going to give aid, we are going to give aid to build structures, for example, we are going to invest into our economies in this way and this way in order to keep people here. So that those who are in Germany currently will be allowed to live there. But we create conditions now mm -hmm. that will deter people from moving mm -hmm. to Europe. Mm -hmm. These are all negotia uh, negotiation points that can be done, okay. but apparently at this point the Gambia government has decided mm -hmm. that they don't have the power to influence Germany's decision, so they're just going to sit down and not do I anything know. about it. This is not just my word, this is uh, what many people are complaining right. about. This is quite uh, really a, a, a complex issue, if you like, and it is one topic so, that would never go away. Uh, people don't know where to start. Uh, is it the government's fault, the migrants, or the, the host countries in there? Uh, uh, you, coming from National Assembly, what has been some of uh, uh, what has been the position on, uh, on the National Assembly on these matters? Uh, well, thank you very much. Um, it depends on how one will perceive the whole scenario. Um, the migration issue that we are talking about. It depends on how you are going to perceive it, but uh, I am with the view and the belief that um, the issue that uh, we are saying, irregular migration or illegal migration, uh, that people are always mentioning, for me, I am with the belief that um, there is no traveling that is illegal. Because mm -hmm. I am with the belief that traveling can al always be done in three ways, either by land, either by sea, or either by air. Mm -hmm. And it's a human right for mm -hmm. one to travel from one 
geographical point or the but, other. But even where they said you must acquire visas to come to us. Yeah, if, if you, you see, acquire, yeah, yeah. You see, if you see, uh, people are always uh, faced with some of these challenges. Is because of the where they are coming from, the source of their land. The government is always restricting uh, some of these young people from accessing uh, visa or accessing uh, how to call it foreign passport government. or whatever foreign document that it might be that might be required as long as the process is concerned. But me, my 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 emphasis here is everything will boil down to the government hmm. because at the end of the day, it is the government that can take the responsibility. If there is negotiation, it is the government that can represent the ordinary people. And we must remember that the people out there are also part of the Gambia. That is why the Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs. We also it is also added that Gambians abroad. So obviously, the people who are out there are also under his domain. So I am with the view that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs should take all the possible measures to ensure that people who are in the country and people, of course, who are outside the country are properly treated. <laughs> the National Assembly as a whole, I will say this is one thing that I do complain at the National Assembly. You see, if you see these young people are always struggling to go out and have a how to, call it, to look for gain a pasture is because of they are not well empowered. And this is that I do complain. Looking at the budget of the National Assembly, the Ministry of Youth and Sport, they cannot even have 1% of the national budget. Mm. So, and we always tend to claim that we are empowered. Well, well this year, of course, they said there's the sports levy, which will give 120 million, 20 million this dollars the, to, this to the youth. They believe the, that's quite yeah, an improvement. Yeah, yeah I, I, I know this better because mm. when we were dealing with the budget session, I do argue with the minister mm. that, uh, of course, no matter what resources that you are earning from anywhere else, the budget that is meant for the entire country, as long as the young people are concerned, at least we should have one person allocated for the young people. In fact, I went to the extent of indicating to the entire parliament that if the Ministry of Youth and Sport cannot have one person of the uh, budget, mm. then me, I cannot vote for that budget item. And that was my stand at the National Assembly. Even though they claim they created the sports levy, which will bring income uh, 120 million for that. Mm. Uh, you, think, you think this is not, uh, is not enough, or at least this uh, not improve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The starting point, the starting point this is not the uh, sport levy, this is something that is just coming. Yeah. But previously, f my first year in parliament, second year, and even third year, this is what we have been experiencing. experiencing. Okay. The yes. Ministry of Youth and Sport, mm -hmm. or oh, the young people are not even given 1% of the budget. So, the sport levy is just of recent. Mm -hmm. So, this is not a point of argument. Hence, if suppose we were doing it, then this time around, we can say we can reduce mm -hmm. the budget item for Ministry of Youth and Sport mm -hmm. because there is another source of funding. For the young people but this has not been happening the national assembly we have a committee that is of course responsible mm -hmm. uh, for these migrants and people who are outside the country and the a team was set up to go and visit the people yeah, that they we are talking that. about mm -hmm. and uh, i cannot did uh, they say did they say did they say ex, uh, uh, they, they, this is what i'm saying i cannot give much emphasis about that but i believe come on the 16th mm -hmm. of this month they will come up with their report, report. and the plenary also will we'll give hear. recommendation in respect in in in, in respect to that okay. and the government also the ministry responsible will be given uh, that recommendation so that it, uh, they can start the implementation uh, I, that's what I can say as much as uh, these things are concerned. These people are concerned. So, uh, in the meantime, these poor uh, compatriots are in Bayern, uh, in detention, and, you know, uh, anxious of the fact that it could be any day they will be brought back to Banjul um, and yeah. stuff like that. I, I just I want to emphasize, just to give a clear scenario of what's happening. Mm. These are people who are feeling that they're being targeted because mm. they are not the only Africans in Germany, Germany. but they are the only Africans who are being targeted. So Why is that the case? Mm. Their perception is that the gov Gambia government is in connivance with yes, the yes, German yes. government against them. That they believe and that much. perception really <laughs> matters mm. for the Gambia government. And there is also the general belief, especially by German civil society, mm -hmm. that the Gambia government is not necessarily sitting on the table with the EU mm -hmm. to really articulate and put conditions on the table mm -hmm. that is going to help Gambians in Germany to mm -hmm. stay, but create good conditions in the Gambia to deter others from moving. 
Well, we move to uh, the next topic, of course. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I just want to add on to that. You know, at the National Assembly also, we have this committee, this delegation called ACPEU. Yeah. That represents the, the entire Gambia at the EU Parliament. Yeah. So I think it is also important, this uh, delegation, when issues of uh, this nature arises, then they can always advocate or find out at that level what actually can be done about the matter and they can work hand in glove with the ministry of foreign affairs and of course the committee of foreign affairs to see that how can we come together and and, and solve the, the the situation you know these people i had of course the man saying that uh, uh, these people are telling them they have given money to the gambian government yes so the government should come out and clarify in fact the whatever agreement that they have must signed they should they should they should publish it for people to have the benefit of the doubt mm -hmm. this is something that the government well, they, should do all i know mm -hmm. they've, uh, they've been denying that there was any particular agreement uh, uh, for the german government to bring back uh, people they said of course there was but there was an arrangement uh, with the eu and of course the eu had said many times that uh, if the gambia continues not to cooperate in the areas of deportation you know, or allowing their citizens to come back other aids from eu could be affected the EU said that. So, anyway, this is a very sad. I mean, the migrant story really eating up our time, stolen time. But we will do, uh, we'll do our best to treat the two other, um, I mean, items very, very quickly. And that is that brings us to Keba and Josane. Keba is the public relations officer at the Edward Francis Teaching Hospital. Keba, um, in the recent past, uh, there have been allegations and descriptions of how poor, perhaps facilities, health facilities at the hospital are, um, particularly the rates to, you know, at which pregnant women or their children die at birth is pathetic in the Gambia of 2020. I mean, when these are supposed to be primary, our primary health care could have taken care of this, but still now, why do you think people have to die even if they come to the hospital where they're supposed to have all the assurance and all the help for them to survive? Childbirth with their children. Well, uh, thank you very much. I think this is uh, one of these very, very contentious issues. Yeah. And uh, I, I want to uh, go back into the history of Edward Francis for a little bit, just a little bit. Now, I just we, want to. We, we I want to address. We, why are people dying? So, dying. Yes. There were. There were. There was a high-profile case. Uh, two years ago, one and a half, and not long ago, uh, okay. a young woman died. Uh, right. You see, uh, hospitals are meant to cure people, where people go and get cured mm -hmm. and go home healthy. Mm -hmm. That's our intention. We want to make sure that everybody that comes to that hospital goes home healthy. Mm -hmm. But here are some of the matters or issues that we need to understand. Mm -hmm. When this hospital was built, the population of the Republic uh, it was not even a million people. And uh, we must equally understand that logistics at that time, reaching infrastructure, was not as developed as it is today. That means this hospital was built in my, with uh, this in mind that it would have a, a capacity to uh, I mean to accommodate this many people at this time when the there is emergency situations and this. So all this must have been put into the builder's mind that this is how it is. And now, the Gambian population has shifted from that to two million people today. Yes. Now, when things are moving, changing, either it is the number changing by population, I think the development partners or the country, the successive governments, should have put into consideration to have built mm -hmm. another hospital with a bigger capacity. This hospital is the only referral hospital in this country. Mm. A country of two million people. Mm. People had to queue in order to have access to the uh, um, doctors. Mm. Not like before. Okay. The buildings still remain the same size. Yeah. The number of staff increased, yes. but the spaces are still the same. Yes. Now, coming away from that, when we say that Jawara government had done its part in trying to see that this institution called the Ministry of Health 
has come to that uh, level to address the needs and the demands of the population. Then we had the 22 years of destroying the fabrics, uh, the fa foundations and the pillars mm -hmm. of that medical <laughs> Didn't uh, we supposedly have more hospitals? Yeah, I mean, that 22 years, no attention whatsoever was given to that hospital called Edward Francis Small Teaching Hospital. Mm -hmm. and, and so you have a big population coming to a very small, tight place and then you have um, very few doctors very few doctors and then people are saying that we are we are recording high numbers very few of doctors deaths who are paid and, and wages. Deaths. yes and again they must understand the media is playing a great part in this during this Yaya Jeme 22 years rule i was not in the gambia mm -hmm. what i know was that people don't have this possibility to express themselves yes, that is true. and say this is what happened this is what happened now everybody can say this is what happened and I can tell you uh, there's far too many quite often too many negative uh, uh, stories coming from our health institution people expected that when a government change all the institution change that, like that no it doesn't happen like that I think what is happening in Edward Francis Small Teaching Hospital is the fact that there are some people who are already basically dying in their homes and they rush them to our hospital. Mm. It's the only referral. So when they see that they cannot control the situation here mm. in their homes, mm -hmm. they bring them to us. When other small hospitals have patients and they realize that this condition cannot be handled mm -hmm. they brought them to us but that is uh, often after exhausting so many hours and, and in some instances so many days mm. but but then of course the, it is true also that you might get to the hospital in time and don't even have a doctor to look yeah but because there are so many other people we cannot prioritize certain individuals and i think that some people think they're entitled to attention has been given to them and I believe most of these um, stories are coming from such people. In Edward Francis Small Teaching Hospital, we believe that no Gambian is better than another Gambian. Mm -hmm. So you cannot come and find somebody being attended to, but you said no, you should be attended to because you happen to be related to some person in a higher office. So I don't know. People should stop giving themselves unnecessary titles. But then this just doesn't change the fact. society. It we are all Gambians and we try to... It doesn't uh, change the fact that people yeah. get there in time. Yes. They are not managed in time. Yes. Their situation deteriorates. Yes. And in, in some cases they lose their life. And they are supposed to be in the hospital which has the best facilities and probably the most qualified, competent Well, well, well what can we do is yeah. we do not abandon our patients and go to somebody. We look at the seriousness of the patient's yes. situation. Mm. Now, if, uh, if a person comes from an accident and we realize that quick attention can be given to that person and uh, maintain his life, we will rush to that person. Mm. But don't forget, if it has to do with delivery, you don't just ask women to deliver anywhere. Mm. They have special areas. Mm. And what happens if these places are congested? What do we do now? So, uh, yeah. what is your beef with uh, uh, Edward Francis Hospital, if you have any? Yeah, so here's <coughs> the thing. Uh, I don't know why we are making it look like it's a beef. Mm. I think it minimizes the quality of the conversation if we make it a charge against the hospital. The hospital. Okay. There is a problem. Yes. Whether or not we're just knowing about it because of the advance in technology and yes. the prevalence of our democracy now, we can say things, people get information quickly now. Mm. Uh, a woman is at the hospital, she lacks blood, and then the information gets circulated. People mm. know about the film. Hours later, we are told she died. Mm. We've had so many cases like that. Mm. So without making this about the hospital, mm. I think it's important to acknowledge that there is this problem. And of. we're of maternal mortality no i don't call it a problem i think what is happening there is the normal uh, situation we at edward francis small teaching hospital found ourselves in we cannot 
And I want to say this, yeah, we as Gambian citizens cannot sit by and see Gambians dying. That's my point. My point we though is, the point, I'm trying to, the point that I'm trying to make uh -huh. is that the hospital doesn't want people to die, obviously. No. Because that's why doctors go to work every day. Yeah. And we don't want to see our people die. Right. Now we make this conversation about there is a problem. What is the problem? What is causing this problem? You mentioned certain things. The lack of facility at the hospital. Uh, the, the number of doctors ratio to the patients. Okay. But also the fact that people sit at home mm. until when their health issues deteriorate and, and they then they come to the hospital us, and yes. nothing can be done. Yes. What are some of those, uh, besides this, what are some of those factors that we need to discuss now? We need to have a conversation around uh, so that we can change the situation. I think for me, um, that's where I, the conversation I can say that um, um, if you go to Edward Francis Small Teaching Hospital today and compare mm -hmm. the, the structures of today mm -hmm. to that of some years ago. Renovations are continuously going on in that institution. Mm -hmm. Continuously, if you look at Edward Francis today, it's better, more clean today than it has ever been. And then if you ask our staff at Edward Francis Small Teaching Hospital, we are employing more artists to come in and still keep that facility clean. Now, if people are dying at our maternity wing and that become a cause for concern, people must equally know that people are dying in our surgery as well. People die in hospitals. We also deliver successful deliveries in that hospital. Why that is not an issue? Well, uh, you, you may talk about expansion, renovation. For me, one thing is that do we have enough quality medicine in the hospital? You see, it is that? not. That is a very good question yes, you are asking. Yeah. It is not the, 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 the duty. This we need it's to not clear. The expansion it of is, the no, wait, this is not the responsibility of Edward Francis Small Teaching Hospital to buy but drugs. drugs. Yes, we don't saying, buy so drugs. We understand. It goes to, you see, it goes to we bigger. sit down and what is given to us by those Government. people who buy drugs. <laughs> we take these drugs and then when people come to us, they don't have paracetamol. Mm. They go outside and say, there's not even uh, aspirin or paracetamol. The now, these are not essential drugs. We know that these drugs don't kill you. Mm -hmm. this, they relieve the, they pain. relieve the pain. So we are putting emphasis, mm -hmm. priorities and on treatments. drugs that are keeping us alive. We call them essential drugs, yes. and we are buying some of this. Yeah, so our so own one must be terribly, by the one must be generated ter by Edward One must be terribly sick if we're going to have yeah. access to a good <laughs> medicine. But, but there is a question <laughs> that really is important to me. And that is Again, I'm coming back to okay. maternal mortality. Right. Again, whether it is just the, the, the technology and the information that we get around is I personally yeah. have heard about so many instances where no, women maybe die. It's the same story, a child repeated, back, and you saw it in different different, news different, media, so, different stories at different intervals okay. of women who die at childbirth because they are shot on blood. Yeah, why does that happen? Here? Why does that happen? If a woman is pregnant, we expect that uh, there should be proper information given to that pregnant woman. How do this woman receive that information? Now that's another issue. Women get pregnant and stay at home and deliver at homes. It is still happening and yeah. in the 21st century Gambia. Mm -hmm. Now, if we do not have enough ambulances to ferry women from their homes to the hospitals, in some areas you cannot even have a car going in there. Mm -hmm. Pre uh, pregnant women in very difficult situations are pushed into taxis mm -hmm. and then traffics are blocked and they started bleeding before they get to us. You know. Let me make this clear. Our child mortality rate, that of it, is better than that of Senegal, better than that of Guinea-Bissau, better than any of these ECOWAS countries as we stand today, apart from Morocco, uh, uh, sorry, Mauritania, mm. and maybe Kevard Islands, and anyone can access this. And it has been improving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the situation has been improving. If I remember, it was some 410 per 1,000 or 100,000 births, and now we are clocking downwards into 230 something or 300. Mm. 
So we are gradually, we gradually, uh, really, and, and I said this because we want to extend our thanks and gratitude to those people, uh, corporations and other international uh, organizations and individual Gambians who saw the maternity wing of Edward Francis Small teaching hospital as a priority, <laughs> donating to these women and, 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 you know, sacrificing their time and energy. Well, we, we, almost mm -hmm. left, we almost left this topic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They yeah. seem to be <laughs> Well, let's have a very small thing to add that will go straight into your, your area, the specific area that is the. Yeah, well, I would say we can keep debating on this issue. In fact, if there is public debate, people can debate on this over and over, but the fact will still remain. That is, there is a challenge. Mm -hmm. There is a problem that we are encountering in as much as the situation of our health sector is concerned. Uh, but there are a number of factors that could be responsible. See, we are just confining this just uh, within that health sector or that health premises, one can call it. But it goes beyond that. Mm -hmm. The number of cases that they are registering does not only stop at Edward Francis Small Teaching Hospital, even at the provinces. But I, I believe uh, the uh, people that we are having given birth, dying during uh, childbirth, uh, is, is the number of cases are increasing, if I could understand. They're and those decreasing for us here in the Gambia. Okay, that, I okay, can, okay. Uh, whether it. increasing, decreasing, we are experiencing this still now, and others will have it at home, others along the road, and whatsoever. Because you cannot just build structures for the sake of building structures. Of course, you can have the facilities there as well, but the accessibility also is another factor that one must consider. Mm -hmm. There is a mother wanting to give birth, wanting to access the hospital. There is no ambulance. You expect that individual to climb on a horse cart, donkey cart, whatever means of transport that is available at the time. Then that person, how do you expect that person to access that health post or health facility or hospital right at the time? It is a challenge. So <laughs> here I will say everything will boil down to the government again. Well, I think if that there is, is a political are, thing, well, well, yeah, no, 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 we don't want to politicize it. No, what no, I know is any political uh, 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 issue. Yeah. Just, yeah, these are things that we are experiencing. <laughs> well, these are know, things Mr. that we are experiencing. We knew about them. Yeah. Okay. So everything will, uh, of course, boil down to the government. But the National Assembly, I will tell you, we have increased the budget line for Ministry of Health significantly because i remember during the budget session we were struggling to the dock to reduce some budget items from other ministries okay just to see that we increase the health sector budget and this is what we have done so i believe uh, the little resource no matter how little it is i will expect the people responsible the authority there to better utilize the money as expected okay we, we, without, of course, trying to politicize the mist, mist, oh, Of course, on the politician, but this is not a political game. Honorable come from the offices on GDC, <laughs> but that doesn't, that, yeah. doesn't make, yeah. that doesn't make him blind to the fact or oblivious to the fact that no, uh, he needs I to felt he needs that to I cannot say who supposed to say. I'm from a village, ah. okay, and I, I basically did just 18 years of my life in, in the Gambia until when I'm almost 50. The rest of that was spent in one of the most advanced world, Sweden, Finland, and the Scandinavia. Now, when I came here, I cried. And as I'm talking to you every day, you see me in Edward Francis. When I go there with $1,000 yeah, in my pocket, I, I, have no, I go home witness. zero. I, I am buying witness. drugs for people with my own money from outside these drugs because they're not available at the hospital. People are coming from the countryside and they don't have fair to go back with exactly. their sick patients. I take my money and get. why I've, am I I've doing seen it? It is because I believe that it takes all of us Gambian people to contribute to the welfare of our people. And the hospital is the best point you can find that. You see, you see we, we, yes, we are lacking behind. But what we're trying to do at Edward Francis Small Teaching Hospital is the little resources that we have, combine that with the expertise that we have, and our competence and dedication to the service of giving to our people. That will never change. And that's why I am actually working for that institution. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. I, I like it very you much. You don't want this topic to go well, away, Nima. No, 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 I just wanted to say something finally that I, I, I like it when people, I like it. 
in a quotation. When people say, we all have to be philanthropic, it takes everybody to do this and do that, that's fantastic. But nobody is mandatory to do what we are asked to do as much as the government. Whatever we do should be complementary. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, primarily, the government has a responsibility that they need to take over. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I, that is, that's I, I know yeah. we, want to, we want to uh, uh, go away from that topic, but I, I will tell you, like the uh, support that he is talking about being a philanthropy or whatever. You see, everyone, I believe, to do what is expected yes. at your domain. Yes. Whether you are in the government, you are outside the government. Right. In as much as you are in the position, or you have the capacity to do, then I believe you can do it. At my village, at my village, I built 95% sponsored by my very self. Mm. I built a help post there. Mm. Because I experienced, and this since I was young, my mothers, my sisters, they have been experiencing this going to the hospital, accessing the hospital, going there to queue. At the end of the day, in fact, there will be no uh, tablets that will be given to the individual. They have been experiencing all these things. So to, I, I, I have the belief that to reduce the burden at the health sector, they are having queue there. At the end of the day, it might waste so much time and one could have utilized your energy on the other areas. I, say, I deem it fit that I should build a health post that is now shared by three communities, mm. very big communities. And I am struggling with the government to see that at least we can have one nurse there. So some of these challenges that we are talking about, if we have one nurse there, that place can easily be accessed and uh, the issue, the number of cases that we are uh, experiencing now, it might also further reduce. Yeah, we are doing what is what that's, what that's, we should do. That's typical GDC. They they claim they are more action oriented than the government. Anyway, sure. okay. <laughs> we move right. on to to his special speciality. Okay. Politics. Politics. Finally, we are going to have by elections in Nyamina West sure. uh, in April. Uh, Nima, you must have been following. Keva, of course, you and the hospital, but you know about election matters. Um, the seat was actually won by the GDC, his party, back in 2017 by Honorable Dembeso, who uh, sadly passed away uh, in Morocco, uh, a month or so. Um, now, this is going to be interesting because this is going to be uh, the first test, popularity test of the parties in that area, mm. three years after the elections. Uh, there is GDC, they said they will contest, and they're sure they're going to retain the seat. The chief competitor at the time was the National Re Re Reconciliation Party, NRP. Um, the NRP, last time we talked to them, uh, they said they haven't, uh, s you know, got themselves uh, together to decide on what to do because they belong to a coalition. Remember, of course, the NRP was contesting with the help of the coalition 2016. We know, of course, uh, uh, so much what has now passed under the bridge since that coalition and the, the, the NRP is no longer are in good terms with the, some part of that Getting coalition. Getting last of the names of the parties and exactly. the people in well, Who is an RFP? That is Hamad Bas party, mm -hmm. Okay, if, okay. if that will help. Mm. Now, they, there are indications, we invited to the, them to this program, but I'm questioning they couldn't come now, but there are indications that the NRP might throw their weight behind the National People's Party of President Barrow. All the two of them will come together we are in the case, there are indications that the United Democratic Party may not contest the seat. So that will leave the battle, more or less, between NPP, NRP, Alliance, if there is anything like that, and the GDC. Um, I want to ask you, Honorable, how confident are you Are you going to retain the seat? Uh, well, thank you. Um, um, talking about the by-election, there is need for one to remind oneself about the past election cycle that we experienced in that geographical area. And looking at the uh, past election cycle, uh, GDC, of course, we registered as um, a success, what I will call it, in that area. Because uh, we had a coalition government at the time, and the coalition members during the presidential campaign, um, they were defeated, of course, by the GDC in that area. You come to the parliamentary election with the coalition members at the time, they were also united, I would say. 
um, with all their support and alliances that they were doing, of course, they were also defeated by the GDC through, uh, during the um, parliamentary election. Mm -hmm. Then we went further uh, to the council election again. Then the GDC also defeated the NRP, of course, with the coalition members. So this because is a, a very well secured, comfortable zone for the GDC. Yeah, this, this is but, something that I can always say. But, and anywhere I am, I but, can but, always but say. But something this. has changed, Yima. Yes. There is now the National People's Party of President Barrow, yes. which is said to be, you know, hemorrhaging supporters yes. from the GDC. Yeah. Now, uh, do okay. you think it is going to be a walk, a stroll in the park for yeah. the GDC you see, in this, uh, this time round? This is logic and there is need for us to analyze. Mm. I will expect, because two heads are better than one, and I will expect mm -hmm. if people can drive at a greater force, mm -hmm. It is when they are combined mm -hmm. and working in the same direction. Mm -hmm. And the coalition members, they were eight or seven in number mm -hmm. and one independent candidate. Yeah. Of course, they were all together, pushing, doing everything possible within their capacity. Mm -hmm. They cannot save the GDC yeah. at that end. Mm -hmm. So now that they are divided, mm -hmm. I want us to understand this okay. better. Now that they are divided, mm -hmm. NRB is over there, uh, PDIS, UDP and all those stuff are divided now. Mm -hmm. Looking at it now, the GDC mm -hmm. had a greater chance because yeah. the Barrows Party, mm -hmm. the recent Barrows Party, mm -hmm. I would say no one can, can, can analyze or, 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 or tell whether Barrow has a popularity or not because there is no election that his party ever contested. There, there is this factor of incumbency. Exactly. Perhaps he could have changed a lot of GDC supporters. Uh, not end. actually. In, in Nyamina West, there is no Barrow supporters there, I would say. Mm. There is not borrow any in fact i would say the uh, borrow does not have any base there and looking at the I, nrp mm -hmm. was supported by the coalition mm -hmm. yes nrp was yeah. supported by the, the coalition, coalition. Did not put and, the and now mm -hmm. then the nrp despite they are moving with the quality with the, with the president the incumbency you will call it mm -hmm. still now gdc will remain that seat mm -hmm. because to me i would imagine it was the, only 200 and something votes yeah to me i do tell people mm -hmm. that is just about substitution mm -hmm. This is what I do tell people. I because see. the division is already there and pe uh, all those parties are tearing into a path. Mm. The GDC has a greater <laughs> weight. And looking at it, the UDP contested during the council election. Yeah. And there is need for one to analyze. Mm. Because during the parliamentary election, going towards the uh, council yeah. election, mm. our percentage increases. Mm. So looking at that, it will tell you, mm -hmm. many people are now not supporting the NRP. Mm -hmm. For the fact that most of the people are saying the NRP will not contest there, it is the NPP, NPP. that will contest there, okay. and people are not in line with, with the, the NPP. NPP. So see. you will realize that some of these things might he, happen. He it. has analyzed everything, but the bottom line is he <laughs> thinks that uh, they, they're going to they, they, they be greater by now. You may agree. Um, I am still skeptical for a few reasons. First of all, I want to ask, are the candidates known already? Not uh, quite. Not um, perhaps we should start by saying the nominations will exactly. start on March the, 30th, start. March the 30th and the election is April the 16th. But we have some sort of indication which parties could yeah. put up candidates. Yes, it looks like yeah. certainly it's going to be so GDC. NRP struck NPP. We don't know where NRP will go into the ballot, but even if they don't, they are almost certainly going to support We are sure NPP. UDP is not putting up a candidate. That is, well, that, well, that, he wouldn't, he would, he he wouldn't, wouldn't say, say that, that, but that's the indication. Are you well, not really well, being well, held behind the scene well, by the GDs, uh, by the UDP? Yeah. Who, who Actually, actually, you, it could be said in the first place, uh, the, GDC, the UDP, through the framework and the spirit of the coalition, did not put up a candidate against NRP yeah. there. All right, you, you, because they were GDC. they were in the coalition. Now they oh, are not okay. in the same oh, yeah. mood, the same box now. Yeah. So they are more likely to support GDC, GDC. by not contesting the area. It so seems like that there is some well, well, informal uh, brotherhood. Yeah. Informal yeah. Brotherhood. Let me let me let me make, let me clarify this. You yeah. see, there is this perception ongoing, yeah. yes. and the people have the belief that. Uh, the UDP will not uh, put up a candidate. Yes. All those things is ongoing. Mm -hmm. But there is no alliance between the GDC yeah, and we the know UDP. That. Let me just clarify. People have this perception in them. Yeah. In fact, journalists will be asking, is there any alliance because of this? But in as much as the constitution is concerned, mm -hmm. All political parties are mandated yes. to go and put up their candidates. This yeah. I have to say anywhere. Yeah. Any political party that is interested mandated to put up a candidate, have a right. Huh? 
Uh, well, are they, they mandated they, they, they could, or they, they have, they have, they have they a right? They have a right. Yeah. They have a right. Yes. yes. Yeah. They have the right, of course. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. They are mandated by the constitution, mm -hmm. by their rights to go and put up a candidate If there. they can. Mm -hmm. Yes, if they can. Yeah. So, whether the UDP will want to support the GDC, mm -hmm. to me, that I cannot tell for now. Mm -hmm. But all the ground is level, is open for all political parties to go and uh, put up their candidates. GDC never have discussion with the UDP in mm. respect to the by-election, mm. whether they are going to put up a candidate or whether they are going to support us. So people must understand and political parties must understand all political parties can go and put up their candidates. Right. Even but that is done, the GDC will still secure the seat. That I am very comfortable, certain, and very, uh, very um, uh, certain with, I would say. Yeah. So the reason why I, I just want to come back to this uh, skepticism that I expressed earlier on is that history is on your side, as you have explained clearly. Uh, but you are going to be judged also by your performance uh, since you've been winning in that ward or that cons cons constituency. 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 Mm -hmm. um, what have you done in the past that would retain the confidence that the people have had in you to you put you, you so in place in other words why why you say you are so tied with the tied with the voters like? exactly what in have the, you why, done why? in the past election you mean no i mean why Since do you the think past election the place will continue to give oh uh, yes have um, you, done? you see uh, gdc looking at the political landscape hmm. since after the presidential election GDC continue doing what is expected mm -hmm. in Yemen West and all over the world, all, all over the country, mm -hmm. because we have been helping and targeting the need of the Gambian people, including Yemen West, mm -hmm. because we have dug boreholes in Yemen West. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have supplied the women with milling machines mm -hmm. and, 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 and other things when there is a catastrophe or disaster, whatever we call it, in any part of the country. So people are observing this, and these are our supporters. They have been observing this, the party uh, doing all these things in the country. So that gives them the courage, that gives them the motivation, that supporting, continuing supporting this party can actually change, uh, change their livelihood. Okay. And they are still with that belief. They are, you are yet, of course, to um, agree on whom we contest. But there are indications that uh, there are people, there will be tough competition even for the nomination of the party. You can only win it when you are united. Mm -hmm. Do you really even start receiving um, applications? Oh, of course. How many course. so far? Um, well, you see, as an executive, uh, we had a meeting not long ago to discuss the structure of the plans in which we are going to um, go by to ensure that from right from the nomination or selection of candidate to the day of election. Mm -hmm. And we have received so far three to four Three to four individuals applications. who will want to contest through the GDC tickets. People are saying you, your success could depend on your ability or inability mm. to choose the right candidate. Well, see, GDC as a party, we are not responsible of choosing any candidate in any area. Sorry, sorry. We have a structure. The national we have a policy and we have a structure. Committees. So the constituency committee mm -hmm. are mandated by our constitution mm. to select whosoever that they feel that that is the person that will better serve their interests. Mm -hmm. So the uh, party will just go there to observe mm -hmm. the selection of the candidate to ensure that they follow the right procedure. But the party has nothing to do with the selection of the candidate. The members, the people at the grassroots can better determine who should be their candidate or representative. Well, you know, Demba so scored 1,434 votes and uh, Malik uh, so from the NRP, 1,190, so just 200, a little over 200 votes. That yeah. was quite close. Yeah. And now there is NPP, which, well, together with NRP, you know, may just be considered to be even more bigger. Mm. I, I, you are not scared that they can not easily at all. I am not, I, I am not sick in any way, not at all. You see, two, uh, I mean, uh, you see, Something yeah, now we, we, we must calculate. Now we must be in mind certain things along the line because yeah. you must one, you must consider the number of registered voters that we have but in the that, area. That's for uh, all. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. for all of you. What of you? Yeah, to benefit from or to. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, co I'm coming. Yeah. The first thing that we must target is to know the registered voters in that area. There, there's four thousand three hundred seventy-five. Yes, two thousand three hundred seventy-five. Exactly, and we must know the outcome mm, of during the election. How many of these that you are talking, you are mentioning, mm -hmm. the registered voters yeah, came 4, out to vote? That well, was well, the last election, there was a problem because there was about 
ni almost a little over half good uh, voted yes so, a lot of uh, voter appetite yes okay so considering all those things mm. now that nrp is not contesting well well they may be contesting yeah, no let, 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 be, me, let me just they come be, they may be supporting let anything. me just come mm. and i have the understanding that most of the people of course who voted for the nrp you know in politics there are people who will actually vote for the candidate not the party sometimes it that is obvious. no we, we are in the political field we, we, know, this. we yes. know this we know this others will vote for the candidate yeah. and not the party yeah. others will vote for the party mm -hmm. and of course others will vote uh, others will in fact not vote because of they yeah, don't like the party reasons. they don't like the yeah. individual mm -hmm. all these things is happening mm -hmm. but i have the information mm -hmm. and the belief mm -hmm. that from this individual people of Niamey west mm -hmm. most of them who voted for the nrp mm -hmm. voted for the candidate and not actually the party so, uh, so, so, so what, what happened with that candidate put himself up again yes right. yes now if we have that candidate put up himself i don't know on what polit in, in which political party it could that be I npp you could cross over to npp it could be and yeah you are just assuming okay. but we are yet to know all those things you but admit what, that the quality the, 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 the quality. fact that the fact that that individual is going to contest yeah. do, uh, with the N, uh, NPP, mm -hmm. then that will reduce the number of people oh, that are going so to vote NPP for that candidate. Not popular, yeah. Because I told you, yeah. despite they like the candidate, mm -hmm. but most of them they the, don't like the, the party. party. The That's NPP. President's party. So obviously, well, you will see that people who voted for the uh, what, candidate, they might not actually what else vote do you for the expect party. Him to say, uh, I'll just paint the, paint, uh, the picture so rosy for his party. <laughs> Kev, you've been silent all along. Um, yeah, I've uh, been silent. You know this I area? I don't know the area, <coughs> Yamina West. That is where you are. I don't know Yamina big West. Town, the big town, the big No, we have very I, small I villages. I know there are parties. It's, it's a small either. area. Dalaba. <laughs> Dalaba. <laughs> Choya. Choya. Um, yeah, yeah, that's Choya. on the yeah. highway. Yeah, Pakaliba. Mm -hmm. I, 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 before there. the party was formed, I met your leader in that car. Mm -hmm. And then I got to know then that uh, there is a party called GDC, but that was it. And uh, I'm not into politics. Yes. I don't know what is happening there. <laughs> what I know is, I hope it comes uh, democratic mm -hmm. and uh, fair play, you know, uh, so that the right candidate is the one chosen by the people of mm -hmm. Nyamina West. Um, Politics uh, is an area that I'm not very comfortable. I went to your paper, yeah. I gave you an interview yeah. that I don't want to have anything to do with Gambian politics. <laughs> you said so. I just want to work for this country and that's it. I hope you two are not caught up uh, in between uh, different feuding coalition partners because you obviously supported the coalition. Yes, I had been part of politics all my life. Yes. On, just before I came here. Yeah. When I came here, I was part of politics. I went to my area, campaigned for some candidates for the that I believed. For coalition? No, there was uh, no coalition as far as I understand. And I, I remember he was talking about they went away with the NRP even though they were in coalition. There was no coalition during parliamentary elections. No, there no, was. There was, was a tactical alliance. alliance. Of course. Well, tactical alliance was a UDP agenda. No, who, but who actually not. respected that tactical no, what agenda. Trying, no, what, what, well, let's, 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 yeah. let's focus who on respected? Yamina West. What are you trying to say? Yeah. No, listen, what are you trying to say is Yamina West. Yamina West. Yeah, UDP said they wouldn't put up a candidate Excellent. because of uh, uh, an yeah. yeah, but that doesn't mean that uh, they it were a coalition. It makes sense. No, he didn't say there was a coalition. Mm -hmm. No, he was no, boasting there, that course, they no, won no, even though was they a, were together. No, was actually, they were never together. No, there were actually a coalition. Yeah, you no, leave course. the... Uh, you at see, the time of the presidential election. At the time of the presidential election, there was a coalition. Now, these parties still remain in the coalition. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for the parliamentary election, but they defy in the tactics they will contest. Very well. Yeah. Yeah, but, but then, of course, no but then there's, but there are still remain at least a remnant of uh, solidarity yeah. between them, even though they are not united. For Fair example, well. the UDP did not put up a candidate against NRP in this country. Yeah, but that's what I mean. That so that means that's suggest that it was a coalition. No, it, no, no, it's it's as a result. We are not saying it was a coalition. Sorry, but we are saying, saying no, 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 let me clarify. We are this. trying to I say that the UDP and the, and, the, and the NRP really were in solidarity with each other as far as that constitution is concerned. Yes, so I will order. change the word coalition to solidarity. No, there wasn't no, any coalition, see, see, but they were, they were allies. See, there was an alliance. Of course. If so you it, see, I, if what you we are trying to put to him is that 
Now that alliance shifted to them now, GDC. He's not publicly admitting that there, there is now a cozy relationship between the UDP and GDC. He's not admitting that publicly. He's saying that even by virtue of <laughs> they, they in, on their own right, they can win this election. Very well. Well, we will yeah. discuss more about it because NRP will come here next very, week. Very well, very well. They were busy today. Very they, well. they would have really got uh, a lot of things to contest your claims. Here. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. That will be about it. Because yeah. if we allow this GDC man to continue, <laughs> he will win the elections in the studio. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, you, you want to say yeah, something? Yeah, I just want to clarify yeah. the point that he is uh, raising. Uh, you see, it is as a result of the coalition. That is why these political parties were able to set up this tactical alliance. Because I understand, and it was very certain, certain areas that they confirmed that is basically uh, for one political party, it's a uh, NRP base, mm -hmm. then they will agree among themselves that to say, yeah. uh, let no other political party contest in that yeah. area, it, as long as the coalition parties are concerned. Yeah. So that is why I am bringing the, the word coalition there. Mm -hmm. But of course, it is a fact mm -hmm. that there was this tactical alliance, and that is exactly what happened at Nyamina West. Yeah, because I, 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 I remember Mr. Dabo of the UDP, uh, quite furious, uh, when the NRP put up some candidates, it wasn't the local, like, uh, local government local elections government. against UDP. He yeah. said, how is this in, possible? In Bansan. In Bansan. Yeah. He was particularly I furious. Was, uh, yeah, was, he, uh, he wasn't happy that NRP put up a candidate mm. there against UDP because he said their party, you know, had refused to put up candidates against uh, NRP in places where in they places think NRP oh, had... Yeah. Uh, had uh, much uh, strength, but anyway, okay. we can debate this forever. We would yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I will come back here and of course, and, 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 and the NRP would have been here. Yes. Okay, that that we, we be prepare be for that as we yeah. get uh, towards the by election. We will have uh, uh, mm -hmm. opportunity for uh, mm -hmm. all uh, provided. For Baro, for Baro, so you rule out Mr. Baro's NPP? No, Baro, NPP, that one I am not considering that one at this moment <laughs> because okay. no, it's this is logic. Yeah. Look at it. <laughs> Uh, we will, we President will. Barrow cannot even just win single election in his area. President Barrow cannot convince his own people. The people of Jimara. Jimara. Haven't that changed now? No, no, not oh, at all. Okay. Not at all. If President Barrow will agree today, <laughs> we can go and have election there in this in area. Jimara. We are going to win him. Who is That's the sitting, obvious. Who is the, you're, you're sitting MP. Yes. Perhaps you can volunteer and resign and then call for by election now. Of course. If you President will, will agree, will I can lose, do that. You will lose it. Yes, of course. <laughs> But he cannot win his people, he cannot win the heart of his people, the mind of his people, and his all those stuff. People. Yes, during the presidential election, we won him there. Yeah. During the parliamentary, we won him there. During the council election, we yeah. won him there. So, how is it that this individual can be? Maybe, maybe, maybe the NPP. Maybe the NPP. Huh? He's from, from Jimara. So yes. Uh -huh. I'm so, did you observe any changes with the coming There is no change. There is no, no change. I don't know. My father is there from is no change. I don't know anything there about There is no Jimara. change. Okay. And that applies <laughs> all over the other countries. We shall see. Yeah. Honorable Omar Sise of the opposition uh, GDC, Nyamina East. Thank you very much. Keba Nyancho Sane is the PRO from uh, the Edward Francis Teaching Hospital. And of course, Nima Kamala, you all know very well, co panelist and lecturer at the University of the Gambia. Well, that's about it for this week. Until we come back next week, have a nice weekend.
Boy, Janno Circus Restaurant. Yes, I know who be Nina Dimba. Number Domoro Karajano. Domoro Seneata, Adiata, Topotoro, and Kendama Bigi. Luntan During, Tamala, Abeka Domoro Kijani, Adimanda Walade, Takawe Bijele, and Impananka for the young Econo Fa. A government of pastry and in bakery. You call for an bakery. Bad day lumba, conference lumba, workshop lumba, you four fend in Lundunia Kono. Domoro Betama, Nilum International Otoda, number one. Among Gabadomola Jandam, is Adamajan is Ataria, Awamuku Bandi, Sad Napo Safutandin, eh, or to San Napo Bemu Seekers Restaurant. Dabal and Janamuyat, Niman Jerombia, Aban Seekers Restaurant, known for best quality food and customer satisfaction. Miss V Designer Outlet is the number one quality and affordable stop shop for all your needs. Get your evening dresses, suit and ties, office wears for both ladies and gentlemen, beach wears, sport wears, pure leather shoes for men, quality belts, bags, heels for all beautiful ladies, original perfumes, accessories and a lot more. Find us at Kololini Road opposite Gaddafi Mosque at the Aqua Preacher Station or call us on 295-3411 or 764-2486. Miss B Designer Outlet. Shop right, look good.
ignore_time_segment_in_scoring natural beauty that melanin dripping we do have stuff for you as well and when you skin care products like you can choose vitamin ah funi la ñoo jaar in fact sa last commercial bin defon waxu len wala dañoo dox ci ay kawar 9a grade rek nak wow we do have bundles as well hair ci do ni la ñoo dox ñu ñu ngi rafetal jigen rek luy taral jigen rek wow wo len di tukki tamit bugu on the classic suitcase ñu ngi dañoo dox ci ay samsonite Bring it into any brown of suitcases, though other than Samsonite. Come, let me tell you what. Go to the airport. There is Samsonite. That's why I'm not here. Wow. You get that? Like wow. Um, skin. You mom, let you get a hammer. Like skincare products. You mom, let you get a hammer. You get a doctor. Meet Bentay. Meet the idol. Man, why? Man, like skincare. Moist my specialty. I'm gonna take in. Busa harka nam regle. Lord of Mujak. I'm in. Patricia Raina. Kiwi eye the whole range. Light up gold. Um, the tomatine. I mean, the list can just go on and on and on and on. Lipo lo han reglu itaral jigen la ti yo yu reglu nyo doh. Skincare plus nak emu insi Gambia rek. Nyonge United States, nyonge Gambia fi. Be pare bude yangi anywhere in Europe. Moon nay la ko mail within three days rek. Nyeti fan rek ngajot say do. Emu insi lo rek dan la consult tamit. Balan la jay do. Then you have a free consultation for what you know exactly what you have to do with your hands. Then you have to say that you have to use perfumes, you know, fragrances, men's shirts, accessories. We do do dresses as well. We do blouses. I mean, we do shoes. Name it, we do them. Skin Care Plus 2020 is our year of perfection. Zero tasks. Who make any real me fake? Can what if perfect tasks? Can what if I'm problem with canam? Can what if I'm problem with picture? Boka, I'm gonna fake any like new law. Keep last with me. 